my name is Chelsea Cato. I am the dietitian with Huber Personalized Medicine, and today we are going to discuss the top five nutrition myths. Myth number one, whole grains are good for you and are a part of a balanced diet. The ancient wheat has been a part of our diet for a very long time, but all grains are a result of man's tampering with plants, hybridizing them and cultivating them for uses that are not possible in their natural forms. And in fact, in the 40s, our government sponsored a challenge to scientists to dramatically modify wheat to make it easier to grow and really without any regard to whether it was healthy for human consumption. And later, we went beyond hybridization to full genetic tampering, lead us, leading us to our wheat that we know and love today, the bread in our grocery store. Uh, when you eat wheat, whether it be through breads, pastas, crackers, cookies, not only does this adversely affect your immune system, but it also raises your blood sugar faster than if you were to eat a sugar cube. That's right, if you were to eat a whole grain piece of bread, that will raise your blood sugar quicker than a sugar cube. So all in all, whole grains are obviously not a part of a healthy diet. Myth number two, egg yolks should be avoided because they are high in saturated fat. This one really grinds my gears because I love eggs and they're one of the most healthiest foods on the planet. Eggs have been unfairly demonized because they contain large amounts of cholesterol. However, dietary cholesterol does not raise blood cholesterol and eggs have never been proven to cause harm or increase the risk of heart disease or cause you a heart attack. If anything, eggs are um, one of the most nutritious and healthiest foods you can eat with six grams of protein and omega-3 fatty acids that are essential for brain health. They even lower blood sugar level and risk for diabetes. So you can have your egg and eat the yolk too. Myth number three, the best approach for weight loss is managing calories in versus calories out. All calories are not created equal. And in fact, if we were comparing 100 calories of cashews to 100 calories worth of cookies, your body does not metabolize these the same. One is high in healthy fats and protein, whereas the other is high in sugar and processed man-made oils. That mantra that a calorie is a calorie and as long as you eat less than you burn, you'll lose weight has been proven to be false. I have my patients focus on real foods with high quality nutrients and the calorie counting will take care of itself. I've never known a patient to eat 5,000 calories worth of vegetables or binge on broccoli, but I've known a lot of patients to eat 5,000 calories worth of Doritos and processed foods. Those foods are addicting and we're constantly craving that sugar buzz. Myth number four, saturated fats raise bad cholesterol. Despite decades of anti-fat propaganda, saturated fat has never been proven to cause heart disease. Saturated fat actually raises HDL, which is the good cholesterol, and changes the LDL from small, dense, which is bad, to large LDL cholesterol, which is benign. There is no reason to avoid natural foods that are high in saturated fats. Meats, coconut oil, and butter are perfectly healthy foods. And in fact, I'm gonna repeat that again. Meat, coconut oil, and butter are perfectly healthy foods. The myth of saturated fats being evil was started in the 1950s after performing experiments on rabbits. As we know, rabbits eat plants, they are herbivores, and have no natural ability to process fats as humans do. Humans are omnivores and there are no studies to prove that saturated fats leads to heart attacks. And finally, myth number five, eat six to eight small meals per day to boost metabolism. It is not true that eating many smaller meals lead to an increase in the amount of calories burned throughout the day. We often hear that if we eat small meals, it strokes the metabolic flame or ignites your metabolism. Most of my patients do perfectly fine with eating three meals per day and a snack if needed. If your three meals have ample protein and healthy fats and fiber through vegetables, your body can go several hours without the next meal or without food. Plus, who really wants to plan six to eight small meals every single day? 
There is evidence to the contrary, in fact, that eating less often may extend your life expectancy. Mm -hmm.